my monomer, it works pretty well. What this does is it gives me a lot of control. Um, this brush, although it, it looks smaller, but I'm able to get a lot of control with it. Using the whole brush to brush through. I want nice, even, 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 even thickness. Just enough powder to look at that. I like this color, it's a nice fall color. Almost like a mauve pink nude. Make sure the sides are nice and even later on, I'll be able to get the shape. That's the first bead right there. Got a good thickness, consistent through the whole nail right there. That's what I'm love, what I want. So long you love it. Yeah, I know. Let's go. <laughs> Hit that share button. It's been a long time since I've been back, y'all. See, the thing about the small 10 brushes, you see how I, I, I'm able to control have a lot of control over the powder given on how the small this finger is i like that i have the ability to have control over there over the the nail itself if i had a bigger brush i might run into issues being too big putting too much powder on there Make sure the sides is very important. Bringing everything in. Flush the cuticle area. So I got the base and everything done. I'm gonna start focusing on the apex. Hold on a second. Oh, there's nothing stuck in there. So I'm gonna a tiny bit of an apex here. Right where the natural nail is. Put my third bead. Should I nudge up forward? Keep it there. Let it dry a little bit first. I don't want to pull it when it's too slow, okay? It's too wet, I don't want to pull it. So I want to make sure it's a little bit more dry. I want the apex to be there, but I don't want it to be too thick, protruding out there. There are actually these tips on your website. Yep, these are the 3XL coffins. Non-seeker. They're on the website right now. Nice. There you go. That's really all you need. I don't want a too big of an, an apex because I don't, honestly, you don't really need it. Depending on the structure of the nail is there. And for this finger, I'm going to do marbling. All three of these. So I'm gonna go with the lighter color first, darker color, a little bit of this glitter. Did you shape them like that, or are they new? No. No, the, the 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 tips come these this shape, guys. The shape, the shape, uh, the tips they come in this this length. 
Um, this shape also is the coffin. It already comes coffin, so you don't have to shape or anything. They said, are you doing a shiny or matte coat? Uh, ooh, that's actually a really, really, really good question. Let's let's wait until we get to that point. I'm pretty, part of me wants to do matte, but a big part of me wants to do shiny because of this marble I got right here. I mean, I'm gonna work slow with this marble because it's such a big nail. I don't wanna go too crazy. Yes, I'll be keeping it long. Yeah, we're keeping it this length. <laughs> she said, or is this just for promotion? <laughs> promotion? No, they're yeah. gonna wear this. I'm gonna wear this. I type. <laughs> he says this is for promotion. Yeah. I wish. I'm gonna leave the actual tip clear out of there because I want to do some other stuff there later. Can you use any dip powder using that application? What do you mean? The marble. I guess the marble finish. Can she do it with any type of powder? Oh uh, yeah, any powder as long as you. I have the technique for it. Oops. Oop. It dropped in there. Not too much monomer, y'all. Yes, he always freestyle. Yeah, that's just a fall freestyle. It's gonna be my main color right here, this nice um pinky nude. <laughs> we don't talk prices. Yeah, I don't do prices on my lives, unfortunately. They're pretty expensive though. Guarantee you that. What, what's the brand and the name of the pink nude? Um, I I put this on um. This one is Wave Gel, one eighty two. You can buy it on the link below. Wavejawshop.com. Nail dad code. Yeah, the nail dad code. Okay. Oh, so my Facebook just died out. Is it really? No, um, oh. the one I'm watching from. Give me a second bead here. And these tips are nice because they're like already shaped and it's straight and it's not a C curve. And you see when it's not a C curve, it's actually easy to work with. A lot of times these tips are like too C curved. That's why they have these now. They're non C curves and like they still has a curve to it, but it's not too crazy. But look, come on. For those of you guys that, I've seen a lot of people that do the, this length and they have to put two tips on. You don't have to do two tips anymore. There's that after the 3XL, it's like one whole tip. So I'm gonna put a little bit more durability here in the apex area with the third bead. I'm just gonna let that dry a little bit while I just kind of blend the top in, blend the bottom in. Which tips are these? Um, they're in my 3XL non-C curve on the website. You can go to nowdadshop.com. You can get those there. Oh, I miss you. I know, I haven't done... <laughs> 
I have not seen you in ages. Thanks, client, for allowing us to watch your set. Yeah, I kind of took a break from working, and then I moved all my clientele to my staff. I only keep a few clientele left, but um, I told you I guess wouldn't stop doing lives. <laughs> Boom. People don't grab my hands, but they do comment. Thompson says, I've been following you for a while. I've never seen a class for beginners. Who? A class for beginners. Do you have beginner classes? Yeah. My salon ready class is for beginners. Uh, a lot of my classes are for beginners. I have one in Arlington that still has opening right now. Um, I call it the salon ready class. Just gets you ready for salon work. And it's pretty fun class. A lot of students, I mean, my Cincinnati class booked up in, within two days. But I think uh, I still have opening left in my um, Arlington class, if you're interested. Where? Arlington, Virginia. Uh, oh, Virginia. It's right next really? to the White House, yeah. What's the weather like up there? No clue. No clue? Mm. You think it would be cold? Not when I'm there, it's October. You know, falls, the cold season start early some places. Uh, not for me. I do this really thin because I'm gonna do this powder marbling very thin because I'm gonna encapsulate with clear later, clear powder. I'm leaving little gaps because I got plans for those gaps later. Will you have classes in Texas? Probably in Texas, like that's where Vina's at, so I'm definitely gonna make up there. Um, so right now I'm working my way south again. Any classes in Orlando? Orlando class, I already did my class just this recent August, so not yet. Right now, the best class to, to be, hop on in is um, the Chicago class with Voltino and Vina. That's the best class, because we're gonna be teaching a lot of advanced designs and stuff like that class. And there's a lot of people that are actually- Pittsburgh. They wanna know about Pittsburgh as well. I feel like if you're in PA, Arlington is pretty close. I feel like Virginia, is Virginia and PA pretty close to each other? Got a New York classes. So these, know. these two are my. You guys trying to see how it's like right here and it hits, hits up right here. Kind of want to have that look. But damn, look at that. Woo. New York people want to know. New York, no. I don't like doing New York anymore because it's just too expensive to be up there. In the city, and it just costs too much for students to like travel and stuff. So if I do anything, it'd be probably like Jersey or something a little bit more cheaper for students. Hey, look at these tips. Ah, ah. They're nice. Best land nails can be a credit card then. <laughs> look, your packs stick would have recommended for XO. Okay, that is a question. They say <laughs> nails can be a credit card then, Apex. Uh, one to one, uh, two, one to two, one and a half credit card thickness is what you're ideal looking for. Apex wise, depending on the length uh, of the nail, but also depending on the base of the, the client's the natural nail. So I'll show you guys the apex I have for this set, which I think is way more sufficient. Um, people that get nails done this long, guys, they really have to really know how to wear these, these sets. Like, you know, right? Mm -hmm. All right. If you were getting length this long, like the client definitely has to either been had this length before, something close to it. You know, someone just doesn't just grab this length right away off the bat, because you have to really know how to wear these. You have to understand, you have to explain to the clients too. Just because you want long now doesn't mean that it's for you, you know? You have to know how to wear it, you know, your daily life, day, whatever. Um, the ones that do know how to wear it, they do take good care of it. So it's like, you know, I if, if length this long, 
If it's gonna break, it's gonna break. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna try to do anything to make it not break. So I'd rather have it break properly. That's that's my main goal. That's what the Apex is for. So I'm not gonna put a bunch of bulk on these the set, you know. Um, Oklahoma, California. I was just in Cali, so. <laughs> CT come back. <laughs> CT come. <laughs> ET come home. <laughs> I like CT. It's just um. Might have to figure something out. They said uh, acrylic is like butter. Yeah, this acrylic with my monomer is like really is literally like butter. Um, Wave gel's new formula. My monomer is medium setting. Yeah, see? Let me zoom in for you guys right there. That's a money shot, y'all. You see that? The Apex is just, just enough. You see where it's, you see where it's gonna break, where it's gonna break? That's what I want. I don't want to do long nails and have like this crazy, ginormous bump right here. It's just not gonna look aesthetically pleasing. For me, personally, guys, for me, personally, this me. is where I'm at. This is what I like, you know? A nice movement from the cuticle area, the apex area here is thick, thinner out here on the base. If it breaks, it breaks around here. Ooh, okay. Your friend, she's, she has the, I can't read that. I don't know how to you. Um, anh đang dùng cỏ số 10 em. Số 10 của anh. This is a 10 brush. And you guys see, I like using my 10 brush even for this long nails. See? Even for the long nails, I like using my 10 brush because look what I can accomplish. See, all my Apex is the same, more or less. This I gotta encapsulate with, of course, clear, but let's move on to the second hand. Thompson tried to go sign up for your VA class, but didn't see it. Um, you have to DM me. DM me for the VA class. I think I got three C's left in that class. I'm leaving for Cincinnati in a couple of days, so. Yeah, see, this is a 10 brush. Look how small it is. Well, it's my 10 brush. It's crimp, so it's a little bit different. That. What's the Chicago school called to sign up? Um, you gotta DM me if you want for classes, guys. Um, for classes. So in Chicago, we're doing an advanced design class. You're gonna be learning this and a little bit more advanced. There's so many advanced acrylic de designs, and also I'll be with uh, Vina and Voltino, uh, and we're gonna be teaching like we're gonna go pull out all the stops. We're gonna be teaching some uh, Halloween designs and some uh, fall designs and a lot of uh, new advanced designs using new products. Um, this those are just for the ones that are ready for you to step your game up. Sometimes, you know, you really can do a nice set. You got to add some nice designs to that so you make more money and also stand out as a nail tech. This is what makes the difference between a nail tech and a nail artist. You know, we're all nail techs in a sense if you know how to do acrylics and your lights or whatever. But to be a nail artist, you have to be able to use, um, you know, gels and all that stuff and have techniques to be able to stand out. And that's how, you know, you got the nail techs that have those Instagrams that have big following because they're, they have unique designs you know that are uh draws people's attention so if you want to really build up your your portfolio that's a really good class for you to do it's right in chicago next month um october uh, it's gonna be an amazing class and i told voltino to go all out and teach everything and we're gonna be focused on two days and advanced designs i can't wait for that class <laughs> jay says oh my gosh i have the brown and the glitter i have to get the dark nude so i can offer this look <laughs> yeah this is, I mean, I love work. I love fall. Like when the fall comes around, I love doing like fall design sets. There's so many like fall designs I have that I still haven't done yet. But there's a one fall design I'm gonna be teaching in the Chicago class. It's gonna be a marble look that's gonna be more advanced than this one. Um, it's gonna have like four layers, and it's gonna be pretty much when you do the set and you at least if you execute it properly, you're gonna be a standout. When you post your work, if you wanna look at your work and you're like, wow, there's some technique there. Like you know, it's not normal. And that's what, what we want for the students in the master class in Chicago. Um, it's coming up. I think we're about half capacity for that class. So if you really, is this something you really want? And this, this is not just limited to just, you know, beginners, uh, to advanced students, okay? Advanced design class just means that we're just going to be focused on designs. So if you're like, even if you're like a beginner and you really like designs, does not mean you can't take that class and learn how to do designs, you know? It's just that we... We just let people know that, with, that if you want more of an acrylic focus class, there's, there do we have offer other classes for that? But there are a lot of people that really want to focus on design, so that's why we offer two days of just design only for this class. Amber wish she would have took the Baltimore Advanced class. 
Yeah. Everyone in her class is upset with you and Valentina. Uh huh? Everyone's obsessed with you and Valentina. She didn't get to go to the advanced class. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, Valentino? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, this is our first yes. advanced class right now in Chicago, to be honest with you, with Valentino. Because, you know, sometimes in, 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 other, uh, in other classes, we, I kind of limit Votino. I don't let him do a lot because it's too advanced and students can't get it. We don't have enough time. But for this class, I told him he can go all out. Let me see that. Because um, he can go all out because we're going to be with uh, more advanced students and um, we have more time. So I told him he can go all out. Andy says, hey, how are you? Hey, Am, how are you? <laughs> Is the tank your favorite brush? Um, it, slow key, <laughs> it is because I have so much control with it. You guys see what I can do with the 10 brush? You have so much control, you know, because it, given it's smaller, but if you know how your ratio's right, you can do, this is 3XL, you know, on that. And I just wanted to, because I've, I've, been, I've been saying this over and over, and I just wanted to, like, you know, prove it, prove my point, kind of, you know, like, and I say that, yes, you can do long crazy nails with a, a small brush. And I, I just wanted to just prove my point in a sense, you know? She says, um, I may have missed it, but how do you sign up and where is the You just gotta DM me and I'll send you the information. Once you put down the deposit, you've secured your seat pretty much. Thick tips, but cut them. They'll just be shorter, that's all. For your phone or your live text No, no, it, it, it just... Um, it left a little bit, yeah. If you get the tips and you cut them, that's fine. I mean, uh, it just be it just be shorter. That's all. Yeah. She want to make sure if she gets them, and she cuts them, it doesn't change the shape size. I guess. Well, depending. If you're gonna be cutting them really short, then there's no no point of getting this. Medium. Yeah, if you're gonna be cutting that down too much. There's no point in using these tips. You can use some other tips. Um, if you're gonna use these tips, you want you don't want to cut down too much. Okay. I'm gonna make sure I cover the cuticle area for because I gotta go back over with clear with this. It says DM you on here or on Instagram. On here, Instagram, whatever. I just send you the information. And usually on Facebook because we have all of our students booked up on, on Facebook for the Chicago class. Um, once you put on a deposit, you just secure your seat. <laughs> she said, I'm supposed to be in this class. I feel left out. What class? I guess the class is coming up. Oh, tomorrow. Oh my goodness, girl. That's a class for you. Tomorrow's actually one of them, the one the student in Atlanta that achieved oh, with a okay. very advanced design her first attempt. That's what's up. Yeah. I heard from. Like that design, every time we teach that design, like pretty much 10 to 15% or 20% max of students that get it. But hers actually was still very, very close. Edgar too. Edgar was the. Edgar was that close too. No, Edgar was actually got it down. He okay. was actually the first. Yeah, he's the first student that did it one time in Denver. Yeah. That literally mastered it right away, and it looked really good too. Even me and Tino was like, "What the hell?" That's, that's why I told Edgar he need to go visual, you know. No, but that that's the thing. He's a beginner too. That's why I. Yeah. We, that's why when we did this class, we, we in Chicago, we was like, we can't just say, "Oh no, you're a beginner. Don't take this class." Because there are some beginners that are really good with art. So why yeah, why limit? Artists. I know. Mm -hmm. So like we can't really art. limit. The student what they can and can't do so we just let them know you know what's what the class is comprised about so i don't want any surprises life not going to hold me down life is not gonna hold me down <laughs> i know girl i'm sorry this pandemic boy hold it together Do you have to be licensed in order to take your class? No, nope. these classes are, are don't have to be licensed. They're workshops. They're private training, which is teaching techniques and what we know, you know. Um, we're not telling you that you're going to take this class and you'll be licensed to work nails or anything like that. You want you want a nail license? You want to go to a nail school and get your certificate? That's definitely the, your best route. But this class, just uh, these classes that we produced are just for us to give you a little bit of experience and show you, hey, you know, um, this is what we've been through and we'll show you tips and tricks to make your job a lot easier. There are certain designs that make, may look hard for a lot of you guys, but once we show you guys the tips and tricks how to do them, it just <laughs> actually pretty easy. You said, bro, you was in Denver? <laughs> yeah, I was. 
We were in Denver. Well, I think that was back in July, June, June, July, one of those dates. We had a Denver class. V, v Vina and Tino and I were there. July, June. It was July, June, because we went to we went to San Jose after in July, so it had to be June. Very important to blend this in so it's nice and even. <laughs> So I can't believe I missed it. Oh, sorry, Lily. I know. That's why I, we sometimes after we hold a class and then people are like. Oh. Let's see, Let me show you. yep, same structure. I'm gonna go through with the hand fire later, and then also with cuticle work. It's gonna look great. The way I do powder marbling may be a little bit different from a lot of people. You see a lot of people do it differently, uh, but that's how I do it. There's so many ways to do powder marbling. I should make sure it's as thin as possible because we're going to want to encapsulate this later. Where are the classes at? The classes is right now in Chicago and Arlington. Are what real? Are what? The, the question was, are these real? Are what? <laughs> What's real? Yeah, I don't know. She has to say. You mean like the nails? I guess. Yeah. It's live. I'm working on a client right now. Yeah, that was a question. What a real estate. Yeah. Oh, they're seeing if, if, if your hand's a real hand. Yeah. This is a real person's hand. Fun, funny thing is, we do get a lot of those questions a lot. Really? Is yeah. The camera? My hand looks fake. Well, sometimes they see these like long nails. They think it's like a mannequin hand. They don't think anybody really wears them. Oh. But you know, there are there are people that are crazy that wears them like this, guys. Believe it. Believe it or not. Okay, when I finish my thumb up, now I'm gonna change my monomer so you can get my clear out and cap the rest of these. Are you going to be doing a Orlando class anytime soon? Orlando. You know, I host like three Orlando classes already and they filled up every time, but I guess there's still more people in Orlando need it. Thank you. Are you going to be doing it? Probably. Maybe. Let me see. Uh, once I get my um, Arlington class filled, I need to focus my next location and I'll probably do another Orlando one since people are still need the Orlando one. I'm going to come back to Texas soon. <laughs> I know. Texas is definitely happy to be here. Um, Andy said something to you. I wouldn't even try Got how I go, how I lie. Do you blend your tips? Um, I didn't blend my tips. This one, um, I didn't need to because these are not as thick as the C curve ones. Um, so I didn't really blend blend the tip at all. I'm looking for about one credit card thickness, one and a half credit card thickness on the tips right here. Um, for my solid nails and anything else, I'll probably do a little bit thinner. I know it's, when this nail, like, this set is finished, it's going to be badass, y'all. Lex wanted to book the Chicago class, but wants to take the beginner class first. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things you have to decide if uh, that's what you want to do. Um, I don't, I think taking a beginner class definitely is important. If you can make it to Arlington, VA, that'd be a nice salon ready class. Um, the re my salon ready class is based off on my, my staff and my salon. Um, pretty much I create that course based on what my expectations are when a nail tech comes into a salon. And I think that doesn't mean that you have to work at a nail salon, but I think that going off of that is important because me as a salon owner, I'm looking for nail techs that can finish sets in an hour. I'm looking for good shape, good structure, um, so nails last. So, and I'm, I'm looking for dip too. So 
Um, my salon ready class, I'll be teaching dip also, and I'll be teaching a lot of acrylics. Will you come to South Carolina, please? South Carolina is definitely a must. It's gonna happen sooner or later. I just have to finish my, my VA class, get my DMV area out of the way first, and then I'm gonna focus on other locations. But I'm finishing my thumb here, and I'm gonna, of course, replace my monomer, because I want a nice, clean monomer. So, another trick for you guys, whenever you guys have to use clear to encapsulate, <laughs> He said, whose credit card Amazon is thick uh, AF? Huh? Whose credit card? Like, often? Uh, I would say just a regular, like, uh, a debit card. Don't say credit card, debit card. So, debit card. Where are you located? And then, um, this class in Texas. I know in Texas, you usually go to Houston, right? Or Houston, but I have, uh, I'm working with a lot of people in, um, the Tyler and, uh, Dallas area, so I might be there a lot too. Okay. I wanted to incorporate my um, salon ready course into like nail schools, yeah. part of the curriculum. And there you guys go. And we have both hands done. So cute, I love it. Look at that color combination and everything. I'm gonna clean my brush really quick, make sure I get rid of all the acrylic excess. I'm pretty sure there's gotta be some on here. I wanna put away some of these colors. VA, yes. Here you guys go, 182. That's the lighter nude. And the darker brown is 207. Yes, come to Tyler. They want you to come out there. They want you to come out there. Well, you let, know, Houston. let Rashida know. <laughs> so I'm going to clean all this out. Because I don't want any, anytime you guys, if you guys run issues with bubbling, uh, your clear not working well, that's because it's contaminated, okay? That means that you need to, whenever I use clear, I'm gonna use fresh monomer because I don't want my clear to be contaminated. So I'm finished with everything. I'm gonna take my clear out and I'm gonna encapsulate my powder marbling. <laughs> VA's in here now. Uh-huh. VA came in. They came in the live. Who? VA. Oh, oh, Richmond? Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, where's my clear? Let me get clear powder. Mm. Is it this one? Yeah. Yeah. Oop. You got it. So now, when I use clear with a fresh monomer, I'm be able to do a nice encapsulation. Well, any issues? No, we're in Florida. I'm in Orlando. The reason why I'm capitalizing this because I don't want this to. Um, I don't want this to. Um, I don't want to drill off my um, acrylic. Rick <laughs> said, "Now I'm about to go do my nails." Yeah, y'all know fall is like the best time to do like all these fun designs. I work really slow with clear because I don't want to rush it at all. Remember, I have a big gap here, so I'm gonna make sure this is nice and clear because I have plans for this spot right here. But I still gotta make sure that I have my thickness right. At least one and a half to one card to card thickness. Clear is gonna be obviously runny. So make sure you just take your time, you know? If you gotta let it sit there and let it dry up a little bit, then let it dry. You don't have to drag the clear through. That, now when it's more dry, you can drag through it. It's more even, more consistent. Mm. A little bit too thin at the tip here. I'm gonna put some more clear here. There we go. Go yeah, just inbox me. There's only four seats left, three seats left or something in Arlington. And in Chicago, we're about halfway full, so. 
Chicago pizza? Huh? Chicago style pizza? Yeah. I don't know. You know they put this. See how this is clear? If I see any bubbles, I just pop it. And you can start building your structure, your apex, right now, if you need it. But you see how there's no, like, um, this clear is very easy to use because it's a fresh monomer I'm using. That's one of my biggest tips for you guys, those of you guys who are struggling using clear is you're using it with contaminated monomer. and even in there and put a little bit more on the cuticle area here flare on will be able to drill this area without worrying about it still gotta check my structure make sure my apex is there that's what I'm using my clear for to build my apex take your time there's no rush when it comes to clear. A lot of people rush it, so it's really suggestions thick. Suggestions for marble. Suggestions for marble, what do you mean? Like what suggestions do you give for marble? I'm doing it. Does contamination of the monomer cause cloudiness? Yes, that's what I'm talking about. The cloudiness is from the contamination of the monomer. If I had to use my monomer earlier when I used all these browns and stuff like that, of course it's gonna have some cloudiness because the clear is gonna be, the monomer is contaminated. What type of gloves do you use? Um, these are nitro. Um, That's what she said too. <laughs> nitro. First I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in this, clear in this spot. Mm, you can DM me. I have a whole packet. I'll send you all the information. Um, it comes with the student kits and everything. And the student kits about like three hundred dollars worth of acrylics and stuff like that from our sponsors. It's really nice. Um, you get like twenty things of acrylic. So that's come on. Let's be honest. That's like two three hundred dollars already. And you just don't talk prices on my workshop on my lives. But when you DM me, I'll have all the information for you. Send it all to you. I wish on my old uh, Facebook, I was uh, my, my old Instagram didn't get hacked. I had all my uh, classes saved on there and the story highlights. So yes, you, you guys get to see a lot of my students and what they they're accomplished. Some of my students are actually pretty damn bomb, amazing right now. She said the student kids are bomb. Oh, that's, that's she definitely student been in the kids. class are included she asked student kits are included in your workshops oh yeah of course they're sponsored kits they're free for you does the kit come with any cover any cover color acrylics um it comes with a sponsor acrylics whatever the sponsor wants to send but well, i know chisel sends 10 powders wave gel sends five to ten and we get a lot of stuff from uh, anthony vince you get a lot of top coat matte top coat base <laughs> coat a lot of stuff actually boy what is um Mimi go go on YouTube. Mimi showed how you wipe with long nails. How you wipe? You got somebody <laughs> in there like that? <laughs> yeah. And they ask that. Those people they don't understand. If you're not used to it, you just if you're not a bad bitch, just to, say that. Yes. There's always the people that can't get the long nails that always question that. Of course, you can't oh, do it. Scotland, he's ready to go overseas. Trust me, guys. I'm well, trying to be in his bag with him. Who? Oh, oh no, Scott. Like, when he come out there to Scotland? Can't. Not with everything going on right now. I wish. I actually had a, a, a class in UK planned. Really? Do you have but it, like, off the. Or you had a. It's already set right up and everything. We just gotta wait until wait. everything is clear. clear in the clear, and then we can go. Cause I can't, oh. I can't just go. Right now, yeah. Are your classes available online or just in person? No, in person. I, I'm a strong believer of not teaching online. There's no way I can teach online. 
If you want an online class, join my lives. This is free online for you, okay? But you want in person, you want that growth, you want that one-on-one, one -on -one, that time, like in person. That's the only way I, I, I believe you can actually learn. There's not so much you can do. Online is like me just posting a video and then you just watching it. Why not just watch my old videos, go on YouTube. I want to be there with a the student. I want to be able to help them grow, you know, right there in person. That's how I teach. So I can't do online, unfortunately. Not knocking online courses or anything like that, but that's just not my style. I have to be there. I have to be able to hold your hand. I have to be able to roll, take, take that mm -hmm. brush away from you. I have to be able to like, you, you have to be able to hear my voice in your ear. Trust me, once the UK open, you'll be out there. There you guys go. Nice encapsulated. Later on, I'll be able to do other stuff on there. Where in the UK? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just have a group of people ready for the UK that are ready for a class, but I really don't. I really don't even know where the, where in the UK is gonna be because I I don't know. I have to probably look, probably somewhere centralized so everybody can come from like all the yeah, Ireland and Scotland and stuff. You took our brush. Huh? You took our brush. What do you mean? That's what she said. You took my brush? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you know how many times students be taking my stuff whenever I teach a class? Can I borrow this now? That's sure. I'll never see it again. Oh, Jesus. That's they, like the pen. <laughs> yeah. They be slick. Every time I go teach a class, I come back. I don't, I don't have my, any more brushes anymore. That's why I don't pack my brushes I use anymore. I just grab new ones. So if they take it, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, see that? The clear, no cloudiness. It's nice and even. Fresh monomer. Oh, I took your brush through the vacuum. Oh, Jesus. Probably something wrong with the brush. And gave me a new one. <laughs> you left that part out. I gave you yeah. a new one. <laughs> That's important. You make it look easy. I can make a group here, X, and you can <laughs> come to UK. <laughs> I know. That's what happened last time. Someone did that, and they actually put a group together, so... We got a few people in the Bahamas too. It's fun. I'm very humbled to be loved internationally. Yeah. I definitely want to go international. Actually, we got to go to the Bahamas by the end of the year. I got two sets tomorrow. Actually, someone, one of my clients wants Halloween nails tomorrow already, y'all. Right. Yeah, she wants it nails. <laughs> So maybe you guys will catch it tomorrow. Halloween. Wait, it's funny you say that. The little boy, my next door neighbor, came out with his Halloween costume off, mask and all, and ready. <laughs> he said it was a SZ10 brush by Nail Dad. The brush you threw out was it? Why don't we cap, cap the solid nails? Because I don't need to. Um, I already did the thickness that I wanted on those nails. I don't need to add more thickness to it. Um, if I would have done the, the, the color nails really thin, I would cap it. But um, this, this powder I'm using is a core powder. They mix it so it has enough acrylic in there to be strong and durable. I'm only capping the, my, um, these ones because these are the ones I'm encapsulated. So they're very thin. Uh, I'm marble, powder marble. The question was, I heard you say you were coming to Orlando. I live in Orlando. Yeah, we live in Orlando. <laughs> I live in Orlando. Um, I usually do classes here now and then for the locals so they don't uh, have to travel out when I travel to teach. Uh, I just finished my last one in August, but if there's more interest, then I'll open another class in Orlando. Just make sure you, you turn on the notifications on my social media so you can catch it. I don't, I'm not sure I believe it or not having to do extra work, so there's no point in me capping those other nails when they're already thick enough.
Yeah. Man, I guess there's still a lot more students in Orlando than needs to class. Yeah. Maybe I'll host another one soon. And you gotta share it in the groups. That's probably what it is. They don't see it. No, I mean, when I host it, it just gets booked already from just yeah, people by following the time me. Yeah, even post, make one post, you're already yeah, posting so it down. Yeah, so I don't... But are they trying to say they have multiple classes at once? Who? Yeah, the... The no. students. The students that they need more classes. I did three classes in Orlando, guys. They need guys. more than that. They need more than that. So when she gets her refill... When she gets her refill, the more likely she's gonna, if she wants to keep the same design, I can use the same colors to redo the design and maybe change it up a little bit. Um, but if she really wants something completely different color, then definitely I'm gonna have to soak off. And it's one of those things about working with a uh, color powder um, like this. Um, I don't believe in drilling down. I mean, isn't like, if the time it takes me to drill this down and put another color on top, I might as well just clip them and soak off just this part, mm -hmm. right? So this makes it a lot easier. And faster. Yeah, and faster. Because my time to, to drill down is going to cost her just as much as me soaking it off. So um, that, that's that. But that's something you have to deal with your clients, okay? Um, let your clients know that, hey, you get a set like this, you definitely got to soak off next time you get it done. Um, that's how I do it. My clients, they understand that. So I have, don't have any issues really um, with, and, you know, my clients, they know that they're going to get a new set next time. So they'll wear it as long as they can. They'll come in and get it soaked off the next time. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. CC say, hey, no, Dad. Hey, CC, are you? Yeah, so um, definitely if you're working with color powder, you know, educate your, your, your clients. The more they know about what you're doing, the easier your job is, I guarantee you. Just let them know, you know. Um, certain designs can't be redone or can't be put over certain things. So then they kind of plan out their sets. Sometimes they, they sometimes they might they might understand like okay don't worry I'll just soak off the next time instead of putting you through the work without to drill off I, I just feel like drilling off is just so much dust and powder. Health, that's the health. And we're done with the application process, guys. Three XL with a How size ten. We haven't heard that question in a long time. I know it's been <laughs> a long time. I probably haven't been doing nails I've been for about fifteen years now. Make sure I clean my brush. Best way to tell if your brush is clean, you got a feather through. You see that? I still have a lot of residue in here. See that? That residue, I can easily get rid of. Just using my, the rest of my monomer. Get it wet. She said I was working harder, not smarter. <laughs> mm hmm When you feather through like this and you don't feel any acrylic stuck together, that means that your brush is nice and clean. This brush is like almost a year old, guys. This 10 brush right here. She lives in Sarasota. I'm a beginner nail tech. Would love to get in one of your workshops. Mm -hmm. They're looking for Orlando. I've seen like about five Orlando. <laughs> no. I'm just saying. That's what it is. Orlando yeah, see? is he Florida is heavy. That's what I said. Florida yeah, is heavy. Florida is heavy. That's why I did three classes here already in Orlando. Yeah, I just got to be on it. I got to be on it. Put the notification on. Yeah. Hit that inbox <laughs> when you see one. Actually, you can, if you want Orlando classes, inbox me. I can put you in a group, a pre-group. And then whenever I host a class, I'll just send it to you guys first. Just inbox me. First come, first serve. Yes, sir. Okay, so now we're going to go to some quick shaping and hand filing. Oh, they said Sarasota was rainy today. So generally my shape is already there, you guys see? Really not not that much. Do you come to Connecticut? I already did a class in Connecticut, I think last March. Did you? Was yeah. It like it's just, traffic, it was just right? smaller and yeah. this is it's harder to fill a class. Your um, no, my website is pretty much pretty cheap as it is already. Um, I'm not like a big company. So I really, you know, big companies, those like, you know, you know what I'm talking about. They'll jack up their prices and they'll give you guys promo codes, which will be pretty much the same thing. I just sell mine at market value, basically what it's worth. And look at that. The shape's already nice and crisp. Oh Lord, look at that, guys. Sweet baby J. This is why it's important for you to shape with your acrylics or your brush. I'm coming to another class after birth. <laughs> oh yeah, you have? Are you due soon, Yogi? 
Can an apex be built using liquid gel? Yeah, I mean, anything can be, Apex can be built and use anything as long as it's durable and hard. Um, but I don't, I don't see, why would you need to do liquid gel? Unless because you're working with stones, you know, like they have big stones, bulky stones. Can they do the Apex with the I wouldn't gel do that. The, I wouldn't do that. That's the only way to make sense for the Apex to be out of gel. I mean, if you are doing a liquid gel set, as in the builder gel set, then yeah, you have, you pretty much have to. But, I mean... See, it really not spending that much time shaping since the, the sh these tips are already, are already coffined. These are available on the website. These tips are already coffined, so look at that. It's like nice and there already. It's a quick run through with the file, 100, 100 grit. Wowzers. Look how crispy this is, guys. For a lot of people that run have issues with shaping, shape with your acrylics, not with your hand file. This hand file is not for shaping. It's for me to clean up the, uh, the nails a little bit. Clean up the shape. Let's do some side profile. How frequently do you change your brush? I use my brush for almost a year, at least a year, six months to a year. Um, if you have a good brush to take care of it, you shouldn't be going through it at all. And is it necessary to change your brush? No, it's not. Um, I sell critical brushes and I tell you that you shouldn't be changing your brush out. You need to take care of your, your, your stuff. She said, oh, I'll shake my head, my nail tech wide. I have my own nail, natural nail, but a few broke. And I had to curve my natural nail. Had to curve your natural nails. Yeah. And oh, the tip didn't give the curve. It depends on their tips. I mean, this is a non-curved tip, it's a straight tips. The Netherlands is in here. <laughs> Do you have any more classes in the next four months? Yeah, I have Chicago, Arlington, and I'm probably gonna do Carolinas and probably Louisiana. After uh, they've been through, I'm not waiting until the infrastructure there is oh, taken care of before I head to. Carolinas are pretty. Huh? Expensive? Uh, no, they're good actually. I'm going next month. To Carolina. Yeah, they make my way to Texas because obviously. Texas is pretty good. I go next week. <laughs> huh? Texas is pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to go next week. Yeah, I'm going to go next week. I go next week. Texas. What are you talking about? Florida's been raining all day. I'm used to that. Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. I have more information on your next class. Do you have a website? Um, you can go. You just just go in the inbox, the in DMs. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna make a website now. Now that you think about it. Yeah, yeah, I might do that. I make a website, just do all the states there, and then just have people just sign up and, and then just bring me there. No, what I'm doing is I'm doing a website, and then I'm just gonna put all the states there, and then you guys can just sign up, and it'll be like the date be to be determined. And once that state reaches the minimum requirement, then I book it. I'll book it. That's a good idea. Do you mentor? Mentor, of course. Everybody that joins my lives and are mentored by me. I really don't, I, I really think that any time that you can learn from somebody and you look up to somebody, um, they should be your mentor. You shouldn't have to ask, to be honest with you. I do a lot of Q and A's where I just talk and answer questions and people join it. And they, you know, they share, I share information with them and- You're willing to answer all questions, yeah? Yeah, answer all questions. And yes, that's like kind of like your mentorship. Okay. We got a hundred stars. <laughs> 
What was that? Oh, I didn't turn that off. Yeah. <laughs> My page is like has a stars option. I usually turn it off, but. Right now, it is, what time we are? 6.46. 646. PM. Okay, so I'm finished with my shape more or less. I'm gonna go through and hand file all these nails because no way am I gonna try to go through with the um, drill to drill over this because it's just way too long. So hand filing is my way, my go-to. Um, I always recommend you guys do that. That's why it's important for us to have a very good application. This will give me the ability to smooth out using the whole nail here. Yeah, I'm using this flat 100 by 100 and I'm just gonna go up and down motion and I'm gonna go circular to make sure it has a nice curvature and this will be able to give me the nail smooth out without having to go through with the drill bit later on I'll take my bit and I'll go around the cuticle area that'd be the only time I'll use it oh it's midnight over there Ew. Netherlands yeah yeah a big time difference so Europe, European time. Back then, I used, when I used to do lives, uh, people in the UK and Netherlands and stuff like that, they're like nighttime for them. And I'll be here like at 10 a.m. Mm. You guys see where it's uneven? You see those nice clear spots? It means that this is more shallow and the, the gray spots are more high. So what I do is gotta just put more pressure. This is from when I had encapsulate, so of course, I, it's totally understandable. And once those clear spots start to become gray, you know that they've at the same level, they're at the same thickness, they're even out. I can't wait to become a nail tech. Your tips are helpful. Oh, you're welcome. Can't wait till you join up. So many now. It's crazy there's a shortage of nail techs right now. Really? Yeah, in the salons anyways. Oh, in salons, yeah. There's sort of a nail, nail techs working in salons now. Salon owners are just struggling. Yeah. People are seeing it as a personal source of income, so they working for somebody. Making mm -hmm. a schedule. Oh, no problem. Look at that. Yeah, see? The UK is 10.50 p.m. and England is 11.50. Oh, wow. That's a big time switch to say you mean about this. Talking about it. It's like Asia. You have to give yourself like two days. If I did a class out there? <laughs> yeah. Jet lag? <laughs> no, most of the time I don't sleep the night before anyways. Oh, you don't sleep the night before? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We just party out. <laughs> The working as a is the quickest way to speed up. Mm -hmm. Yes, because you're consistently working. Um, as a line, you're taking walk-ins, so you're you know if you're at a busy salon, you're, you're you get you have to work you know consistently. At home, you may have a client, may not have a client, so it's kind of tough for I say at home nail techs that are starting out to actually grow. And once you jump into the salon, you grow so fast because you're actually working with other people and you kind of pick up on their energy. I've talked about this about this before on my my lives and stuff like that. Do you like using drills? I do, but since this is so long, there's no point in me using a drill bit. I'm gonna get my base with a hand file first. So I have to do less work with the drill. I'm gonna use my drill to clean up my cuticles and everything like that. There's no way I'm gonna be able to get the cuticle. No, I don't, unfortunately. What tips are you using? This is my 3XL. Um, non C curve tips you can get on my website now that's shop.com in the pin link below. You gotta read that, that's for you. Cool. Mm. 
đó có dài bộ này bộ này là bao nhiêu à, giá bộ giá bộ này hả em nghĩ bao nhiêu hai trăm mấy không cái này nó dài thôi mình làm một hoa lên chút nó làm chút cái sâm stone đẹp Uh, yes, customs and it's too expensive. Yeah. It's not even worth it for you to ship overseas. It's way too expensive. Most times the shipping might even cost more than what you're buying. <laughs> it makes no sense. Um, what grip file are you using? I'm using a hundred by hundred, but this is a not. This is not my my uh, my. Um, this is more of a. It's, it's a fine and not a coarse. Um, I. My bit. My um, filers are out of stock. My hundred hundred zebra. So I've been using these ones I have at the shop, which they're okay, but they're not as good as my mine. So yeah, there are different qualities of filers. Let's see, I spend more time on these nails because. <laughs> talking about how you was able to read it and continue going. <laughs> yeah, like. Like one one tone wrong, you say the word wrong. Mm -mm. When are your brushes coming out? The, the custom ones. Ooh. Oh, I kind of scratched that idea because it ended up being too expensive to do. I really want, I really like that, but just it was just way too expensive and I didn't want people to spend money on that just for that customization. So I, I stuck with, with, with what I had. And then the day is a nice idea, but when it came down to it, You're affordable now, I didn't want it to be affordable. So after you're done with this, all you gotta do is um, drill the cuticle area. You don't have to drill the, the base of the nail because the drill bit is so small. You go to the base of the nail, drill, 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 drill. You're actually gonna leave indents behind and it's not as smooth as if you, if you use a hand file like this. And the better your application, the smoother your application, the easier this is. As you can see, when I encapsulate now, I have to spend more time because there's, I, it took me longer because I have to encapsulate. So it's a little bit more uneven than these ones. Just look at that. It's to die for, guys. This this is what that this is my ideal apex ish with the nails. Um, I really don't think you really need that big, but structurally, this will this will be nice and sound. I love doing nails about a good fifteen years. Dang, that's half my life, man. I started this in 16, now I'm 33. Half my life I've been doing nails. But then again, my nails 10 years ago was completely boring compared to nails now. So I guess really, gonna, I really can't say that. I mean, I have a lot of experience with acrylics, but designs and all that stuff is just the more recent now. I mean, 10 years ago, it was like pink and white. <laughs> Didn't have gel polish, for God's sakes. Regular polish, <laughs> yeah, regular airbrush. Brush. Yeah. White tips. You had to be talented at we that use point. It, yeah, we just, <laughs> it was boring. We just do the same thing over and over again. No wonder why, you know, a lot of OG nail techs from back then are good at acrylics because that's all they did back then is acrylics. You had to know how to do acrylics to get a job in nail salon. Application was everything. Hmm? Application was yeah, everything. Yeah, it was. Because you didn't have color powder or gel polish or all that stuff to make up for your application. And you remember polishing, knowing how to apply mm -hmm. polish. Those two, do you know how to apply? And polish. She mm -hmm. said she left her 12 brush thinking about getting the 14. Replacing your 12, you get the 16 or the 14, yeah. The 16? Why the 16? Um, that's just the, 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 the biggest one. Uh, it's so easy to use. I have the deep clean, doesn't hold price at all. I love my brush. Really have to deep clean. I told you, my brushes last. Funny thing is, a lot of people still have my brushes. They've been using it for almost a year. They're like, I don't know what to do now, Dad. I want to... it's still good. I'm like, you can keep using it. Yeah. And then a lot of nail techs think that you have to go through brushes. And no, the brushes. If you get a good quality brush, you take care of it. That's your that's your bread and butter. 
a, a brush that's broken, uh, it's like that you use that's been like, you know, uh, seasoned, as in like you were so comfortable mm -hmm. with that, it's a lot better than getting a new brush. When you get a new brush, you have to clean it, you have to reseason it, as in you gotta use it's it, like get used to it again. Pot, it's like you're, it's like buying heels. When you buy a brand new pair of heels, yeah, you're gonna take some time to break it in. It's not gonna be like comfortable as the last one that you just replaced, right? Wow, look at these tips, man. If those of you guys that join later, um, you can actually come back in later when after I'm done, I save the live. And you can actually watch me uh, from the beginning. So, no worries. If you miss out the application part or even the tips, how they look like before. What made me? <laughs> um, the fact that this drill bit is about this size. If I were to drill, what happens is this edge right here and this edge will create little indents. It actually makes it un more uneven. Hand filing gives me a little bit more evenness throughout the nail. As in, you'll be able to put a whole flat edge on here and you'll be able to, it's actually more consistent, more easier. Um, the whole surface area for me to be able to use. See that? <laughs> so with longer nails, actually it's better to hand file than to use a drill bit. To use a drill bit, you actually can make it more uneven. It actually takes longer. I will use my drill bit, don't get me wrong, to clear my cuticles and this and that. We're almost done, got two more fingers left. Do some cuticle work, buff, and then um, get her in to wash her hands and then finish off the design with some nice aesthetics. What nail bit will you use? I'll be using my Sharp 5-in-1, which I'll show you guys. It's my go-to for everything. My fine Sharp 5-in-1. It also comes in safety for those that don't know how to use it yet, but I use the Sharp because I like to get in the cuticle nice and... The Sharp is Sharp, Sharp, not for beginners. <laughs> you can cut people with a Sharp one for sure. Yeah. Wow. How nice that looks. Yeah, I admit, guys, when you when you get the structure down, it's just the feels. You feel great about your work. I'll show you guys what I mean. She said she started with hand filing and she just used her drill bit to seal the acrylic. Yep. The that's what this that's, that's that's a good thing. I mean, what if you're doing shorter nails, then yeah, you don't have to use uh the hand filer because the drill bit is big enough to just drill the whole surface. <laughs> do you have a hand, do you hand crap up? Do you have a hand crap? Actually, um, if you actually do this correctly, you actually won't run into that issue. Guys, but look at this. Structure. Hold on, let me get some of this ashiness off. <laughs> the dust. Each finger. Same structure, you see that? Consistency. So, now, the part everybody's waiting for. This is my five and one sharp cross cut bit, custom. Sharp meaning, you see the edge? It's sharp. If you see, I have here the safety version. It's the same bit, but the edge is actually rounder. You said I have a problem using my ember board to get the perfect shape. What is the special way of holding it? Um, the ember board is not for you to shape. It's for you to clean up your shape. I recommend you shape with your acrylic brush. That's the best way to shape, okay? Don't move. I'm not. Well, congratulations. She just passed the state test. That's good. I love it when I hear people I graduate. I love when I see people. Oh, yeah. I saw you post your um your certificate, Elizabeth. Congratulations. Mm 
So this is my ability to go in and clean the keto area. Make sure I seal the products in nice and nice and neat. You can't get you can't get the hand filer in there for this part, right? I see everything is already drilled out, just this area. So I only need to drill a bit for this area only to kind of blend it in. Question: Do you use a foot drill? No, this is the hand drill. Foot drill? Who said that? <laughs> Where's Mia? Where you getting the food drill from, girl? That's from like a long time ago. Um, hand filed, uh, e, e files are now more and more advanced. Um, they're a lot stronger now. So you actually get wireless ones that are on the table fairly easy. Um, actually, I remember the food drill. Now, now that you say that. Yeah, that's what, Yeah, I remember. It's old school. <laughs> that's old school for real. For old school. That's been a minute. Yeah, it was a minute. Use that no, more. no, people still use it. They Guarantee do. you. I have students that bring it to class. Oh. It's more to pace yourself, I think. Huh? The pace you? Like, what do you mean? You know, because with the foot drill, you take your foot off and start, you ain't got to worry. No, it's actually stronger and faster. Mm -hmm. The foot drill. Uh, she said she watched somebody live earlier and she was using one. Oh, you're probably watching uh, Trin, Trin Solo. She uses the foot drill, still. No, I'm ready to take your girls. <laughs> Who? Oh. Yeah, okay. yeah, the salon ready class. You definitely. Next time I, I, I think Elizabeth, you're in, you're in Orlando. I think I might have to do another Orlando class. Just gonna have people just DM me, and I put them in a group. And once I host a class, I just send them a message so they all get it. All right, Orlando. The thing about it is whenever I, whenever they, they, uh, they ask and then I'm like, whenever I post it, they, I don't know who was the person that asked. Mm. That's why I grouped them up first and then I just go to the, the, I just look it up like Orlando students, interested students, and then boom, I'll be able to find them. Totally. And I'll be able to notify them in there. Let's please do an Orlando class. He doesn't like online classes. No, I don't do online classes. You are having you have an online class right now. Yeah. This is your online class right now. Enjoy it. It's free. Any content I post on here are educational. Elizabeth is in Pennsylvania. Oh, is she? Mm -hmm. I could have sworn she... I could have sworn you were in Orlando. Or in Florida area. Yeah, see, I don't have to really drill all the way down here because I don't really don't need to. I just kind of focus on getting this nice and smooth. This set right here, I probably, because I'm doing live, will take me about two hours. But if I were to do this set without doing live and just focus on my work, uh, answering questions and stuff like that, I can finish in about an hour, an hour and a half. Um, do you do classes in Cali? I just finished my Cali class. Uh, San Jose class just a little bit ago. But I think the next time I do a Cali class, it's probably going to be more Southern Cali. Um, they asked for this again. This is the 5 and one Sharp. Cross cut bit. It's on my website. I don't even know if there's any left in stock, but this comes in medium for those that want more grit and break down more powder. I don't really need to break down a lot of powder, so I'm more of a smoothing and cleaning out the cuticle. So I use the five one sharp, and it comes in safety for those guys that don't have don't have the you know aren't using um don't know how to use the e file as well yet. You can use the safety; it won't cut. This is sharp, so I'll be able to go right in between that cuticle right there um, and get. All the excess out. What it does is it seals in the cuticle area. This is this is where your lips come from, guys. Um, if you don't seal this in, what happens is in a couple of days it grows out. It's gonna have little gaps and unevenness, and that's when you're gonna run into issues um, with um. Uh, you're gonna run into issues with lifting. Is that bit included in your class kit? No. Unfortunately, not. The class kit comes with top coat, base top coat, base coat, and a bunch from uh, all other brands, black and white gel polish. Um, you guys get about 15 to 20 acrylic, two ounce acrylics. 
that's like a whole collection of acrylics you guys get. That's enough acrylics for you to do clients for six, seven months. What brand of Epo are you using? This is a Medicool Pro Power 20K. More of the higher end brand, expensive brand, but um, it, it's, it's a professional one. I like it. I don't have any issues with it. <laughs> she like the shape bit instead of the safety bit. You like the sharp bit? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you can use it, perfect. How do you avoid blushing the, blushing the cuticles? How do, I, how do you how avoid do you flushing? Avoid? How do I avoid fluffing the cuticle? Fluff, yeah, fluff. I guess it's more of... What do you mean fluffing? Like going... Flooding. Through. Yeah, flooding. Um, flooding. Um, you definitely powder control. Make sure you don't get a wet bead, too much powder up there. And nudge the powder up. Um, you can rewatch this video when you saw me work in the cuticle area. I think it's flooding, not fluffing. Yeah. Fluffing, that sounds like a... <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, flooding. <laughs> we figured it out. <laughs> yeah. It's actually a fun game to figure out what figure out. our viewer is saying. That's fun. The sharp bit really gets the, the sharp crisp. bit. Yes. Yes, it does. But that's the thing. People that don't know how to control the drill yet and they use the sharp bit, they're going to cut the client. So a lot of my students, they buy the safety and the sharp. They're both the same bit, same size, same weight, everything. It's just that the, the safety is a little bit more safety for them so once they're getting used to it then they'll switch over cuticle work is my favorite hey barbie how are you she's been around barbie monroe mm -hmm. i recognize people when they come back and doing cuticle work Yes, you're gonna cut clients once in a while. Even me, there are days when I cut my client. It's an accident, don't get traumatized. A lot of people get scared of cutting people. It's a normal thing to cut people, okay? No nail tech in the history of nails and not cut somebody. That does not exclude you. <laughs> Just make sure you sanitize, clean it up, apologize and move on. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to clean it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see the cuticles, guys. Right up to the cuticle, nice and flush. You don't see it. You don't see that big gap. The cuticle's a little bit crusty, but once you wash your hands, I'll show you guys. She said I'm gonna need to stuff to get my brush more. To get me some more brushes ASAP. Me. You need to get some more brushes ASAP. Yes, ASAP. Go stock them. There are a stock. Yeah, I've cut someone with a bit trying to take down the acrylic. Oh, yeah, don't do that. Soak off. That's what I don't like about drilling off. Because you need a really, 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 really like sharp bit. But if you make one mistake, it just cuts the client. I just rather just clip it down and soak it off, and then just drill in between your soak off. You don't have to wait for you don't have to wait for the powder to like completely soak off, guys. You can just you know simply um, you know check on it every five ten minutes and drill off any excess when it gets all gooey. Rewrap it, you know. Mm -hmm. That sounds painful. She gonna go buy the brushes right now. Make sure you buy whatever brush size you're using right now, buy two size up. Okay, don't get the same size brush. I, anytime I like, I, I recommend like for nail techs, anytime that you want to buy a new brush, make sure you're upgrading your size of the brush. Just so you have another size brush, you know. Don't get the same size brush because, you know, sometimes using different size brushes will give you the ability to practice your liquid to powder ratio a little bit better. You're able to understand to change your ratio. Which dip do you prefer and why? Which what? Dip. Color powder. Which dipping powder you prefer? Mm -hmm. Kira Sky, Wave Jump. <laughs> I do not use Kira Sky powder. I'm, I, I'm sorry. 
I'm curious, guys. Um, no, uh, you cannot compare Curious Guy to Wave Gel. Wave Gel is an established company. They've been around forever. I would prefer um, Wave Gel for sure. What about a size 20? A size 20 brush? Mm -hmm. That's too big. For me personally, I don't think anybody needs a size 20. 16 the biggest. 16 is probably like the biggest you should go. Once you crimp it, it's like almost like an 18 already. Mm. Really? Yeah, I don't see, <laughs> I don't see, I don't know. I just, for me personally, I just don't see using a size. Come on, guys. A you use a 10 for this one. So. I, I use a 10 brush for this, this set. You guys know that, right? A 10 brush. A 20 brush is twice that size. To prove a point, I use a 10 brush to do this set. So, yes, you can do long as triple XL nails right here, guys. I'm going to set my 10 brush, but I have a 12 and the nails just go everywhere oh it goes everywhere i, need I use mimi's 20 yeah i use mimi's 20 and her nails come out so flat what do you mean the nails come out so flat as in you don't have enough powder the thing is like the bigger the brush the more you have to, the more monomer you have to waste you're using you gotta remember, the bigger the size of brush, no matter what, when you get that thing in the monomer, it's gonna soak up, you know, a size 20 amount of monomer. I was using a size 10 brush, so my, my brush is only soaking up a, size, a, t a minimum amount of monomer that I needed. So yeah, <laughs> big brush, it's more, more liquid is used. You can't control how much that brush is gonna soak up. The moment it makes contact with the monomer source, it's gonna soak up that much, you know, monomer. That's why I don't, another reason why I don't use a big brush too, because I don't want to waste monomer. What about NSI products? Have you heard of them? NSI. N Ooh, sorry for my dyslexia, guys. No, I haven't heard NSI. There's a lot of other brand products out there, to be honest. NSI may be one of those up and coming brands or white label brands that. Actually, NSI, I think. They're pretty common um, in nail supply stores. I think if, if you're if you know NSI, that means you've probably been to a nail supply store. Tony um, says that too. Who? What? You see him? Wow! Hey, yeah. Tony. Hi, how you am? Wow! He's actually a very very good artist too, Tony. He is, yeah, yeah he's, he's amazing. Down pack. Yeah. Tony Do, he does really good good work. I love his ombre. He does long nails too. Long nails. Mm -hmm. Long nails give you life. How do you function with short nails? <laughs> like how? <laughs> Y'all fingers touch everything. Like, oof. <laughs> Any advice on starting a supply store online? <laughs> Any advice on starting a supply store online? Mm -hmm. And make sure you have a lot of money. Yeah. The thing about starting a supply store online is when you want to make money off any supply, you have to buy a lot of it. Mm -hmm. You have to buy a bulk amount of it to make it worth it for you to resell. So companies that will sell to you this, the fact the distributors, they're not going to sell to you in a small amount. You have to spend like ten thousand, you know, ten thousand, like five to ten thousand dollars whenever you buy something to make, to, to make the profit. Because then you can get it for cheaper, and then you're going to resell at market value here, whatever price it is, and make a profit. So, I mean, there's that. And plus, you gotta really have people that follow you or buy your stuff. You have to really use it, promote it. And a lot of people wanna, they, a lot of people wanna sell, but they never even, they don't even, they don't even use it. Like, um, people say, hey, you don't know why someone's not buying my stuff. I'm like, are, are you posting it? Are you using it in a video or a tutorial or something? <laughs> no, I'm not. Then of course, no one, then people are not gonna buy it. People are more inclined to buy when they see it being used. Like for me, if I use these tips on my live and I, you know, people watch it, they see how I use it. They're, okay, I like that. And they'll support it. They'll support me by purchasing the product because I'm able to show them how to use it. So it's very important, you know, when you're trying to sell something, you got to make sure that you're at the level to sell. Um, everybody can sell, guys. Everybody can buy something and resell. But you really got to contribute to the community so that they'll support you. Um, the community will always support you as long as you, you give back. You know, I've given like thousands and thousands of content videos to this community, this industry, you know, to be able to garner support. You know, I'm humble for that. But that's probably my biggest advice. 
my biggest advice for you guys. Like I said, I, will, I don't mind sharing that, you know, for anybody that wants to come up because you're not my competition, you know, because there's, there's enough for everybody, but I want to make sure you guys understand what, that, what goes into it. You know, I really want people that sell, um, that benefit from the community to be able to give back to the community. You know, you can't just post and sell stuff without, without having to like, you know, contribute to the industry, you know, some kind of video tutorial that helps a beginner or even anything. They will support those who support them. That's important. Cruel. We in America? Huh? Oh. No, somebody was typing up, but they said it was their baby. Uh huh. <laughs> so I've sealed my cuticles. Cuticles. Oh, I'm gonna go underneath and I'm gonna be able to clean up any excess. Pretty much any excess that actually, you know, overflowed over there. Use, I would recommend using a sanding band for those of you guys that don't know, I don't have control yet. For me, I'm gonna use this metal bit. I'm just gonna get rid of any excess underneath. Very minimal, seems like. The less you have underneath, that means the more control you have with your powder, guys. I'm a very big stickler when it comes to uh, stuff underneath the nails. It right. makes you want to be a nail tech. Hey, come. Be a nail tech. Uh, any way to fix powder that... I guess they could fix the marbles. Powder that marbles? No, you can't fix that. You add more clear to it, that's about it. But um, powder that marbles is just how it is. Definitely gonna make sure that you work fast and use a monomer that um, dries fast. That's a monomer that dries slow, so it gives you time to, to pat the powder in. Sorry, guys. So now we go to buffing. Sorry, we had a frozen moment there. Oh, welcome to the best. Thank you, Nimbus. <laughs> Nail glands monomer. I never used it, unfortunately. There's a lot of monomers out there. I use my own monomer. Nail dead monomer is the best monomer. <laughs> That's it. Arguably. I haven't done glow in the dark in so long. Not a lot of my clients ask for it. Um, my monomer for me is medium setting works with all products mm -hmm. for me that works best for me um, for a lot of you guys that maybe want a monomer that maybe sets slower you're definitely looking for a slower setting monomer I know me a secret is slower setting young nails Valentino C&D retention plus um, I've used those monomers before and personally I want to work a little bit quicker with my powder so I try to I came up with my own monomer that actually sets a little bit faster but not too fast as you can see, it's compatible with every type of powder and um, it works great. And you know, I'm always sold out of it, so I don't really have any issues with that monomer at all. See, get that nice buff, and you'd be buffing in all that when you hand file earlier. In an hour, right? I figured you did these in an hour. Is it an hour? Yes. It's, it's only been long. an hour? Yeah, the live hasn't been going on that long. Probably a little bit over. I don't see the time. Is it, you see it's the time? It's 7. It's 7.20. Um, yeah, one hour. 
Really? Yes, one hour. That's what I'm saying. Like, oh, I did these in an hour, guys. I an hour and 35, even online. So, an hour and 35 minutes. That's some good, <laughs> good timing. You, you, you doubted yourself. No, I said I was take, I took an hour, hour and a half. Yeah. I gotta finish up some last designs for this. That'll be good to go. Just got my 12 brush and 11. Awesome. I would have taken four hours. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you gotta start somewhere, right? Practice makes perfect. These tips, though, wow, they are nice. I guess they'll be happy. I won't poke nobody. <laughs> <laughs> they'll be happy in the house about that. Yeah, we haven't changed our shape in so long. Let's go. Are y'all thirsty? No. <laughs> I'm not. Here, wash your hands. Uh. First, before I do the design portion, I'm just going to get some fresh paper towels. Change my brush out. Hour and a half, not bad. Honestly, I'm used to um, talking and stuff on the live, so it's not too bad now in a sense, but it can get pretty parched up in here, y'all. <laughs> can get pretty parched up in here. Hmm. I kind of, I kind of want to do like an icy look with this. What are those beads? I need to get these caviar beads. I'm sure I use caviar beads. Remember those caviar beads? Where did I put them last time? Mm. Oh, these? No, this is not it. Uh -oh. It might be in your box down there. Yeah. Get some stones out. Remember I used them last time? Yeah. Piss me off one more. It's, hey, do y'all need anything from the gas station? <laughs> <laughs> Man, they be trolling, man. They're like, they do. So <laughs> thirsty up in this bitch talking for an hour and a half. I'm like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm like, sure, for real, you close? Come through with that. Come through. Give me some Arizona tea. Not the Arizona. <laughs> you say you want the Arizona. Have you ever tried using the 4D or 5D gel to make flowers? Um, no, I haven't, but it, they're definitely fun to use because it gives you time to mold and sculpt it, so, um, not, not, it's, it's not, it's not bad. Watermelon crush. <laughs> what? He said, I got you, I got food stamps. <laughs> hey. Shoot, I'm, not, I'm hating, I want some. I want huh? some food stamps, boy. I can't get none. I heard they about to up the amount to on food stamps. I got it. That's kind of sad, guys. I found it. Hmm. Let's finish this off. I think I'm going to be shiny. Okay. You put on a new set of gloves, guys. Get rid of them. Come on. Tell me I don't have a base color. Oh, Hold on, no, no, no. I can use this. This 
way. I'm gonna put some thing for a sticky surface right here. You can use base coat. No, I'll suit it. This one too. Yeah. He's gonna get silent, guys. It's not personal. No, this is it. No, can you keep it in? This is a quick design. I don't want to add too much of this. This is because I want the marble to be the star, you know? I'm gonna add a little bit more kind of like finesse to this. No, no pricing. This set, honestly, if you, let's say if I were to charge, um, if you were to charge, you can do the set just like this. You can probably charge up to 200 some dollars. People will pay for it as long as they get, they get that quality. quality. Take it out. I mean, it's a triple XL set, so it's gonna be around $100 just for the set itself already. Um, I'm gonna take some of these ether flakes here. I'm gonna just lay it on here. It's gonna look like a rock. When you see over cubicles, do you, how do you know where to stop? Because <laughs> I end up <laughs> that's, too far. That's, take, that's experience, you gotta just play with it. Eventually you'll get it. Um, it's really hard to, to, to say when to stop, when not to stop, let me be honest with you. Um, she said she has to go back and reapply acrylic. Yeah, that means you're over filing. You're, you're pressing down too deep and um, you may have a... Uh... Okay, I'm over filing and you're just removing too much. Um, or that you don't, or you have a safety bit that has a rounder camber so that you're drilling too much of it out. Any tips on that? Any tips? You just gotta this practice. One, practice. It's just one <laughs> cuticle work is one of those things, it just takes time. Um, you're not gonna master it overnight, nor we should try to. Um, I think I'm gonna do a gold. Does it um, comes out better without the? Ouch. I'm gonna really pronounce it wrong. Uh huh? The ether flush. Ether because, flakes? Yeah, flakes. I mean, I'm. I'll show you guys why I do the ether flakes in a second. Um, there's a reason why I do it. Don't worry. Don't worry, guys. There's a reason for that. I'll show you guys in a second. Oh, is the reason why you ain't? Oh, I can't. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to pronounce it. Mm. Sorry. Reason why what? <laughs> His voice is. Oh. His visions are unbelievable. It's beautiful already. I can't wait to see those marble nails with the top coat. Oh, me too. Me too. Me too, guys. Me too. I'm gonna make this nice and thick. Give it like a vein look. Who has the best top coat? Do you use different top coats over white nails? Um, I know that the reason why you say that because you probably have an issue yellowing. yellowing, but I really don't have that issue. My top coat is 
I've never had yellowing issues. I'll, I'll just show you guys my top coat in a second. Give him a second. What's up? It's it's not a new dish. Good question. Thank you. What are you using for the lines? Um, this is just a glitter gel. Use my gem stone sealer gel. No, it's a brand new one. This is for rhinestones and also. Yeah, it gets real quiet on the design part. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just focus on doing my. Before you cure that, where my tray? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't want to. I don't want to lose any of this. Right. Hold on, y'all. No, Johnny, go sau được không? Just look at that, guys. Whoop, whoop. Damn. Damn, Daniel. Um, tip one, huh? Uh, I'm gonna go to the, my website one. Nerdashop.com is the coffin, non C curve, triple X L M. Three X L. My gem glue, really good. So it's gonna be able to hold these stones on real nice. You guys notice I, I don't put on too much of it now, okay? You guys see why I put that um that base right there? The the eat the flakes down there first. It gives it nice more more coloring in the background. And anywhere I put this is where the stones are gonna attach, so.
Oops, sorry. See, see, see that. So pretty much I sprinkle this on this and I don't want to put too much on there. I don't want it to protrude. I said I don't want it to be sticking out on the sides. I'm going to push it in. I don't want any excess on the side because it's going to get caught on things. I want to lightly press it so that the stones get right into that, that gem sealer glue. And it's going to be half of it is going to be submerged. So it's going to be have that next texture. But also, it doesn't come off as easy. But of course, this is a wear and tear design. It will come off, you know, when it comes off. So there we go. Take this, oh, take this excess here and put it back in the baggie, seal the bag back up. Try to transfer this. Uh, I just want to know how you pronounce it. What? Transfer my hidden screenshot? Okay. Go to my website and you're going to get it. No, that's shop.com. All right, so now this is my top coat. top coat, no wipe top coat. It's a medium. You're about to see the final look. This is what everybody been looking for. I don't want to do too much. Truly, I don't want to do too much. You just need one thin coat of top coat. This top coat's not thin, so it's very medium. You don't need that much. A very nice thin coat will be able to get you a nice cure. And a lot of times when you use the top coat that's too runny or we add too much top coat, what's gonna happen is it's gonna run into the corners. It's gonna get rid of, it's gonna ruin our shape. That's one of those biggest issues. You can definitely use, if you're using glove, use your hand, just to wipe like that. Um, I don't like runny top coat for that reason because I don't want it to run into the corners and make me lose my shape. Even if you're doing color powder, you can, you can definitely lose your shape. Um, thin strokes, okay? course the marble oh look at that beauty and I'm not gonna go over my stones I'm just gonna go around near it because if you go over the stones you'll lose the texture okay You know how to jade nails? Yeah, of course. I've done jade designs before, a lot. You can do marble, uh, powder marbling with jade nails uh, to do a jade set. Um, you go to my Instagram, you can see that I had a jade set up there. Can you show one? Right now? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when I have the client to do it, yeah, but. back through and check wow yeah. Nice thin coats, got a little bit of dust there, lint there, I wanna get that out. A lot of people lose their shape during the top coat. Oh, I feel so bad. Don't lose your shape during top coat, y'all. Don't do all that work and lose your shape. She says, isn't it? 
it best as matte. This actually, I like it. I like it. this would look good in matte, but I think it would be better. Yes. Yeah. The marble comes out better with the, the top. You can't do this set matte. If I would do this matte, I would definitely do ombre, and then I would definitely do less marble, and maybe add like gel marbling and then matte it. Um, if I do anything with powder marbling, I, I have to bring it out with the top coat. If you do anything with powder or anything in the background, you definitely need to bring it out with um, the uh, the top coat. But matte, you know me, I'm a sucker for matte. <laughs> so she almost use, always her, um, shape. Yep, that means you gotta just paint slower and use less, see how minimal I'm using, I'm just coating it. A lot of times we don't really realize how much we're putting on until it's too late. And that also, if your top coat is like more runny, as in if it's a lighter consistency, it always runs to the issue of um, coagulating into the uh, the corners of the nails. See how I'm tilting her hand while I'm doing the thumb? Um, if your top coat is very like thin, it will, all, it will go to the corners. Why so I said just check it before you put it into the curing. Um, if you gotta go through. But my, my top coat has got medium consistency, so it doesn't really move that much. So you won't have that issue. Like that, and there we go. We're all done. Meow. You say meow. Meow. This is more like a girl. Look at that shine, guys. It's money back guarantee. My top coat. That's what it's name? No, I mean like if oh. if it doesn't, if they don't like it. It's money back guarantee. Oh, that's a good process. Good process. What you have been waiting for. <laughs> you love matte, my client. Sometimes there are certain designs where it has to be matted and the client wants shiny. And I forced them to do it matte at first so I can take the picture to post. And then I go back though and then I top coat it so that they, oh, for what they want. Top cure. Um, about 30 to 60 seconds and any UV LED light, um, it will be perfect. Um, this is the top 30, I did 30 seconds for this. Um, so I hope you guys, I think I'll finish this up. I'm gonna show you guys, let me put some cuticle, some, some Q oil on here. Get some cuticle pen here. And we're just gonna do a little bit of cuticle oil. Let's make sure she's not too ashy here. So I'm gonna zoom in on the cuticle part for you guys. Flush cuticles definitely will make or break your set, man. Like, it's just so clean. So, cuticles, right? You will not have any issues with lifting if your cuticles are that flush. Right before the cuticle area. Consistency. Just like that. 3XL. 